Welcome to Glass Board Learning, I'm Mr. Chen, and today we're gonna to be talking about surface area. What is that? Good question. Surface area is pretty much the area of all of the surfaces added up in a prism. That's why it's called surface area. Duh. Let's do an example. Over here, I have a cube, and in a cube or any rectangular prism, there are six sides. I want you guys to figure out what is the surface area of this cube. All right, let's do the problem. In this cube right here, I see that on the first side, there are nine squares. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine unit squares on one surface. If I flip it around on the second side, there are also nine squares. On the third side, there are also nine squares. On the fourth side, there are also nine squares. The fifth side right here, nine squares and six side. Oh yeah, there are also nine squares. So what I can write is nine times six, and that's going to give me 54. So the surface area of this cube right here is going to be 54 square units. Let's do another problem. Right here, I have a rectangular prism. And if you take a look, I have this side right here, this side, this side, this side, this side, and this side. I want you guys to calculate the surface area of this rectangular prism. Go ahead, pause the video, try it yourself. You got it! All right, let's take a look at this problem right here. I see that there are six square units on the first side. There are also another six square units on this side, another six on this side, another six on this side, four on this side, and four square units on this last side right here. So what I can do is I can add up all the square units up. I'm gonna write six times four because four sides have six square units. I'm also gonna do four times two because two of the sides have the same number of square units. I'm then gonna add them up. So my answer is going to be 32 square units as my surface area. Let's do another problem. I have another rectangular prism right here. This side is two meters, this side is four meters, this side is five meters. I want you guys to figure out what is the surface area of this rectangular prism. Go ahead, pause the video, try it yourself. Let's get to it. So if I take a look at this, hmm, if I calculate this one side right here, just this side, this is gonna be two times four, and that's gonna give me eight meters squared. And since this side right here is the same as this back side right here, I can multiply it by two. And that's gonna give me 16 meters squared. Over here, I can say that this is five and the height is two. So five times two, that's gonna give me 10 square meters for this side. And since this side right here is the same side as this side right here, I can multiply it by two, which will give me 20 meters squared. And last but not least, I have this bottom part right here. That's four times five, which is gonna give me 20 square meters. And I'm gonna also multiply by two because that's the same as this top ceiling right here. Now I can add up all of the square units and find the entire surface area. That's gonna give me a total of 76 meters squared for my entire surface area. Let's do one last problem. All right, I have this triangular prism right here. It's kind of like a block of cheese. I want you guys to pause the video and try to figure out the surface area of this triangular prism. Go ahead, try it out yourself. Let's get to it. Woo! All right, let's take a look at this problem. If I take a look at this triangular piece right here, three times four is gonna give me 12, but since it's a triangle, I'm gonna have to divide it by two. So 12 divided by two is gonna be six centimeters squared. And since there's two of these triangular pieces, one in the front and one in the back, I'm gonna multiply it by two, which is gonna give me 12 centimeters squared. Now I'm gonna figure out this back piece right here. Since the height is three and this length right here is three, three times three is gonna give me nine. So this back piece right here is nine. Next, I have this floor piece right here, three times four, that's gonna give me 12 centimeters squared. And last but not least, I have this slanted side right here. 
3 times 5, that's going to give me 15 centimeters squared. Now we can add up all of the areas and figure out the entire surface area of this triangular prism. And hey, now we're done. Our surface area of this triangular prism is going to be 48 centimeters squared. So to wrap things up, surface area is the area of all of the surfaces of any prism. I'm Mr. Chen and thanks for watching Glassboard Learning and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.